All right, let's see. And this one is a vinyl expression. Let me see, this one is on the... Uh, I see, same slab, yep. Uh, seven. Mm, I see. Let's 
to since A is going to and B is going to the intersection. Of the I see. So you have x equal b, right? I got a coefficient of x, and then I want to put the quarter in front of that. Just apply the quadratic formula. Choice D, so this one you Multiple answers. The correct answer is 19.
is one. Is three thirty times one. Okay. Hey, Aaron, how you doing, man? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How you doing? Good. Okay. Um, for this week, uh so yeah th today i think i don't know if i sent you this one but um were you able to actually before that were you able to do the fourth section yeah the I first did. okay were there any questions or like was it hard um how did you feel about it um it was okay okay did you need me to cover that more uh for like two weeks uh, or like maybe we can just brush through it after we do like section three for all of them um yeah because i think there's like they're pretty like similar it's just like some things need more calculations okay uh what about this um so like if you do like because like for the first one you already did it right you finished it did you finish uh, the, first one? the this section first four one? the not this one the for sec uh practice pr number one section four did you finish all yeah of them? i did Okay. And then like, I'm thinking like, do for this week, uh, try to do the second one section four. Okay. And then like, maybe after we cover all of them, uh, for each one, kind of maybe just pick a few that you feel like we should cover more. Mm -hmm. And let me know, like maybe like in an email, let me know. Um, so it's easier, like for last week, maybe you can just email me. Uh, yeah. the, some difficult problems would be this. And then for this week, maybe that. And then at, and then like after we're done with like seven of these guys, we'll, we'll cover just those those ones. Okay. I think we can probably attack that. If, if we have that list of problems, we could probably attack that in like one or two days. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's just go over these. Uh, this is the section three. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. So um, I guess for today, uh, if you want to like, you know, we'll take it slow. Maybe, maybe you can tell me how you would do these problems and then, and we don't have to finish. If you don't, well, whatever we don't finish, you can do for homework. But um, these are very similar to, you know, all these like section three problems are very similar. Um, they're not that hard. There's maybe one or two that may be tricky, but the way that they're trying to ask you is pretty much when you... Uh, can you saw there's a lot of algebra and geometry and it, it, there's less likely any trig. So those two things, and then like maybe uh, converting um, like a word problem into, uh, into math. That's really what it is. There's, there's nothing more than that. So, and like, oh yeah, um, there is a problem here where you have to add, uh, you, you have to uh, remember your quadratic formula. So know that by heart, that, the, that equation I think is not given to you. Mm -hmm. so just know that uh, that usually shows up a lot so but for the most part it's just really arithmetic and algebra and geometry okay so um for number one here uh what would you do um 
So, so first solve for x. So 5x plus 6 equals 10. Okay. Subtract 6. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Divide by 5 on both sides. So All right. x equals 4 fifths. And then, and, then what, and then substitute that into the 10x plus 3. OK. And then. Yeah. Mm, so that's that's it. Yeah. Yep, this is really that, not that bad. Typical algebra problem. All right, what about this one? Um, so I know it's not A or D because they don't solve the first one. Okay. And That's then good. if you substitute B into it, that one works. Yeah. So that this one is easy. Either you can do that or you can just solve this one. Yeah. So it is B. That, I think the whichever one's fast if, if you just plug any of these guys and whichever one works rather than like solving for this for then yeah so it's b yeah for this one all right what about three um a yeah so so these ones like like i said it's just uh, interpreting I, I would just jump through like the question and then they're like which of the following is better than the 12 so it's talking about this guy so yeah it's really just like what what, what are these parameters mean and it's telling you like so like n is just number of landscapers which is this guy each and then per hour would be the other guy would be oh come on come on be the um who will be working h right here h with the total number of hours and then so if if you look at this it's 12 times those guys right mm -hmm. usually when it's like doing times it's it just tells you like you know that number per this per that so th that's what i would do i would just look at the question and then see if you have to plug in something to make it zero do that but this one shouldn't take that long it's it's like one of I don't think there's like a really difficult word problem in like section three. It's it's mostly just like that, like this. All right. What about this guy? um for a okay yeah so for for this one what what i would do just to like make it because uh, if you if you look at this main guy this is probably the only one you would like do because if you square it this guy right mm -hmm. and i think this one you can definitely throw this out and then this one if you square it it won't work and then this one can't work yeah so this one is all you have to look at is this guy and all of them is already bad. So it has to be this guy, pretty much. Mm -hmm. All right. What about this one? C. Yeah, this one's C. And what, what did you do with this one? Um, so I put seven into the equation and then 
added seven to both sides. Okay. And, and then, then you just sum up. squared both sides. Okay. So then that equaled 49. And then I subtracted 17 from both sides. Then I divided by two and then took the square root of both. Okay. And then, yeah. And it has to be positive, yep. Okay, so that's good. And let's do the sum. So here's a geometry one. D. Okay, what did you do with this one? Th these are the fun ones, but what did you do? Okay, so I found the slope of the top line. Okay. So you did, was it zero or, or you can do this? Minus zero over zero plus five. So you got two fifths? Yeah. And okay. then the for the bottom line it was four over x and then since the other one was two fifths the it only made sense They're parallel and okay so that's good that's pretty much the concept here though if they're parallel they're pretty much the same slope and and you just solve for p right yeah and then you end up seeing that let's say four and 20 to cross multiply. And if they're uh, if they're perpendicular, uh, what what's the relationship with the slope? Um, the negative reciprocal. Yeah, the re negative reciprocal. Those are the only two things. And then I think um, the other one we covered last time is like complementary, supplementary, and then if they're vertical. Some if if you know all of that, that that's really like they won't trick you really. It's just knowing the concept. Mm -hmm. And then and then the was it the similar similar triangles? Like to confirm if it's similar. Okay. This one. A. Okay, so what did you do with this one? Um, so A squared minus B squared equals 16. Okay, same base, okay. Yep, so then A squared minus B squared equals A plus B times A minus B. Equals so, okay. 16. So, so for this one, so after you did this, you, you factored it. You could, yeah. Okay, so you factored it, and you got something like this. Mm -hmm. And then they they gave you they gave you this guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Which means you can divide by two on both sides. That means that's eight. Yep. And then when you do that. Yeah, it's really, this, this is just another stack of algebra. And then knowing, knowing your, I think there's another problem like this in the previous one, knowing your exponent rules. Okay. What about this one?
Uh, C. C. So, how did you do that one? Um, with the equation, just plug it in. Oh, you just plugged it in? Yeah. Let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, you could do that one. So, if you did this for n, right? I think it was. Yeah. So, 7a would be, let's say, they're saying it's 50. And then 360, so 350. I see, yeah, you could do that one. What is the greatest number of size that it can have? If to make this, because if you put in the other ones, it'll be less. And this one's too, this is, this will exceed it. That makes sense. Yeah, you could do that. You gotta do that, or you can um, go through the steps of uh, doing the algebra and finding the n. And then, you know, if you do that one, just to skip through it. It's going to be like 7.2, so n would just be 7. So either that or you can just plug it in. All right, this one. Actually, yeah, this one's a nice one as well.
Did you get the equations for the lines for the sun? No. There's like a there's a long way and an easy way for the sun. I think the the easy way is it's kind of conceptual. There is usually like the easy way is usually conceptual, but I. Mm -hmm. for, uh, what did you do this one? How, how did you try start it? So I think they're perpendicular, right? Mm -hmm. So let me see. So they're, they are perpendicular, but let me see if the slope, because the first slope, they gave it to you, right? Mm -hmm. In this one, I think they just intersect. They didn't say they're perpendicular. Oh. That's the thing, yeah. So when it intersects, I think, um, yeah, Unless it says perpendicular, they uh, they'll tell you directly. But but if they don't tell you, um, I would just because they give you two points for the second line. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess just to, to start it. So the first thing is you you have the slope given, and then you have this line. So you 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 know how to do this one, right? You, after you get the um, the b, so the the b in the intercept in this case is six. And then and that's the first one. And then the slope is given. Second one, you find the slope. They give it to you, the, um, the two points. So the slope is negative one. So after they do that, yeah, you, then you know you just solve for this guy and you get one of these. And you, you're gonna see that you're gonna get this one, right? Mm -hmm. So you you're end up with two equations, but then they intersect. Once they intersect, and then you have these two, you, it's you pretty much they have to equal each other since they intersect, right? Like yeah. at a point at this point. So I would just plug in that the the point they tell you because they want you to do a plus b. So I would just plug in like b for y since it's equal, and then x for a. And then so this guy. And then since these are equal, then you can solve for a. You're so. Once you do that, it's a, it's like a, after you do this, yeah, you, you have to isolate them, and, and but you need to have a first. Um, so when you do two a plus six equals minus a plus three, then you're gonna see that uh, a in this case is let me see, just do the math. So plus a minus six plus three equals. Uh, minus three so a equals negative one okay and then and then you find what b equals by just plugging in a here right mm -hmm. okay. so that's minus minus one i'll just plug it into the second one plus three so that's going to be four right mm -hmm. and so after you do that so that's like the third step. The third step is getting all, all those. And then the fourth step, which is like A plus B, you, you just do whatever the numbers tell you. So minus one plus four. And then for this one, that, that's all you get. Uh, so this is three. So you get this guy. Yeah, this one is a little bit, uh, when, when it tells you um, the intersect, uh, I would, I guess like my attack with everything is uh, try not to to I guess assume unless they tell you, mm -hmm. but if, and then also um what is it like if there is a shortcut the shortcut here so this is the long way right, mm -hmm. and then the shortcut would be they tell you that the second line passes to these two points right, that's what they tell you, mm -hmm. so you can technically just say x plus y equals um three right, yeah. And then since the other point, let me see if this is a, this makes sense. Uh, thus the intersection of the first line, the second line lies in the line with. And then that's the, what, that's the reason why I don't like the conception because after you do this, x plus y equals three, then they tell you that a plus b equals three. I mean, that, that could make sense to you. For, for me, I really don't like doing the, the um, if I can do the fast way, but the, the, the way where I don't have to like conceptualize I would do I would do that way because I know for a fact that it, it's going to give me the concrete answer where I don't have to like assume anything. So I would rather just do it the long way, but do it fast though. Like you know, get the line equations and then the the variables and then add them. 
Okay. Unless, you know, unless it's really simple. Yeah. But yeah. something like this, um, it can get confusing if you assume, like, you know, you want to use the short way. All right, for this one. Okay, so um, how would you start this one? Um, so something like this, um, it's usually like when they give you like equations and then they're, they're giving you like, a, like an inequality in a sense. Uh, I would probably just plug in some things to make you know to make this condition work yeah the, the one that works for this one is like plugging x equals zero yeah yeah so because like if you plug in x equals zero this is gonna disappear yeah i crossed out a and b yeah yeah and then this one definitely and then when when you plug it in here because it has to work every time right mm -hmm. like, like it can't be like sometimes it works it has to work every time. And so if this one this one definitely will work so something like that yeah for the most part, you could just plug in things if it's given to you and making an equality work rather than like really solving for it. This one, sometimes they do this. And if they do that, I would do it this way. Yeah. And okay, let's do this one. This one is a little more straightforward. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. D. You got this one? Okay. Yeah, it's it's just the conjugate. Um for for this one, you got which one? D. Uh A C. C, right? Okay. Yeah, it's the, it's just a sign thing. The um, it, it's uh yeah when you when you're doing this kind of stuff, just times it by the by the conjugate, mm -hmm. and and then just know you know, I I would probably not start like plugging in the i squared equals like negative one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you could you know obviously mental math you can just like plug it in while you're doing the the expansion, but I, I would I would you know because uh, usually you'll um when you put in those signs, so when you do that and then simplify pretty much that's it. Okay, 12. What did you get for this one? B. Yeah. So did did you do something similar to this? Yeah. Yeah. So this one, yeah, they they, they don't just give you just want you to rearrange, and they tell you know they in here is like pretty much do you know what this means? And then obviously they give you what the F means. So. That's, is they're just testing you that? Okay. All right. So this is the one. So thirteen. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Th this is the one where I think you could do this in other ways, but I would probably just like do and remember the quadratic formula. Uh, that's like the um, probably the best way of solving this one. So and then. What it says is the sum of all the values of m, right? Mm -hmm. So like, yes. Yeah, so do this to the quadratic format, and the second thing is um, you add them. So you add the you know the m, whatever the plus is, because you're gonna get two of them, right? In here, you're gonna make you're gonna get two of those guys. So m one plus m two. That's what they want you to do. I guess we could, we, well, let's actually just do it. So, so let's see, M1, so what is A, B, and C? Two, minus 16 and eight. And so that's uh, minus, minus, minus 16, plus minus 16 squared. Minus four, two, eight over two, two, two. And so that's 16. 
at 16 squared minus, let's see, minus eight, minus 64. A minus 64, 16 squared, six, three, nine, six, six. Six three nine six six five one two fifty six. Yeah, that's correct. Divided by four two fifty six sixteen plus divided by four. That's two. That's one. Let's say 115, that's going to be, hmm. Minus four times. Oh, that's. Two fifty. Let me say six three. That's probably right. Let's see. Actually, an easier way of doing this would be dividing this by two. Plus four equals zero. There you go. One minus eight, four. So minus minus eight, minus eight squared, minus four, one, two, one. Sixty four minus sixteen. Sixty four minus sixteen. Uh, Fourteen. Eight and then forty eight, of course, forty eight. So eight plus two. And okay, so that's what you get. When you, when you divide it, you're gonna get four plus, so this inside would be two square root three. And so that's M1 and M2 is gonna be four minus two square root three. And when you add them, the radical expression disappears. And then you get this equals eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I'll probably just do that. the The way to do this uh, quickly is to make yeah to make your numbers easy. So that's why if you divide by two, it'll be easy to simplify. All right. All right. So for fourteen. So there's another interpreting the variables. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So this one isn't that bad because they, they give you this thing, right? And then they what they want you to do is the actual opposite of that. So it would be 100 minus like 13, so 0.87. And then this is a um, this is a decay. So okay. So let me say when it should the following remaining and then ten. Yeah, so it's, that's why it's exponential. Okay, 15.
What did you get for this one? D. Yeah. So I guess this one. I mean, what well, did you did you do the division way? I think there there might be another way, but I think the easiest way is just to do the. Yeah. So I I <laughs> it's been a it's been a while. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but like yeah, like doing a remainder like this is probably the the easiest way. Just doing this. Okay. All right, that's actually the multiple choice. That's good. So um, let's do the fill-ins now. 16. Yeah, okay, let me just. So are there multiple and can there be multiple yep. answers? That, 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 that's actually a good one. Yeah. So some of these, um, these fill-ins, they do have multiple answers and any of them can be like, correct. So what is, what is they're asking you one possible number? Okay. So which ones did you get? I got nine and six. Yeah. So yeah, that can work. You just plug in, uh, you know, whatever value you have in here to get this guy. So if you did like y equals, or if x equals three, then you get y equals three and x equals six, y equals two, x equals nine, y equals one. So any of these will work, three, six or nine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know it's weird, but yeah, so, sometimes it does that. So um, 17. Okay. So, so this one, I think it's kind of similar to the ones we did before. Nineteen. Yep. Yeah. So, like this one, you're just matching them, right? Whatever the polynomial coefficient is, you just match it. So B here is nineteen. All right. So this next one is going to be like the similar triangles one again. <laughs> they really like these ones, apparently. All 
Oh, but there's a, like a different dimension. So the other one that we did last time is um, it was only like one step. But this time, like, they want you to apply like another equation after you do like the similar one. Let's see, CE. Yeah, so it'd be this guy plus this guy. It's this, this whole thing. Is it seven? Uh, for CE. Let me see. Uh, let me, uh, let's see. So after I did this on it, let me just do this one first. So it's like ten. AB is ten divided by DB is five. Okay. EB is eight. CB is you don't know that one, but that's gonna go in here. And you know you know BE. So this is this is eight, right? Yeah. So CB is four. So this is four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I accidentally thought that the the two C E and A D were equal. Okay, two. Okay, yeah, yeah. So let me see A B. Because like after you do the similar triangles, you, you can just proportion them, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you don't even like, you could pretty much assume there's like, for the most part, you know, like the other problem we did last time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, you, both times you have to prove they're similar when like, but you could pretty much assume they're going to do that, this kind of problem. You don't, because like, you know, if time is of an essence, you could just skip to this one right here. Yeah. And then, and then start like equating. And then if you don't, if you have to do the second step, uh, you do that. And then it's pretty much, I don't think this can get anything any harder unless, mm -hmm. unless they give you like an angle here <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and you have to do something, you know, they give you like a side and you have to do that. Um, in case they do that, uh, just remember your law of sines and cosines mm -hmm. so, or any of those other ones. But I don't think it can get any harder. It's just, it's just applying your semi triangles and then you're pretty much that. Okay. All right, this guy. Oh, I completely forget this. Oh, this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. So for this one, isn't it isn't that bad? Um, let me think. So but you have to apply, so you're giving you're given this guy, right? Yeah. And you have to know what this is. I think this one, uh, the, let me see if it's one. Oh yeah, so this is one. Because they give it to you right, right here. So you have one right there because you're gonna need this guy. And so how do you get, the first question here is how do you get this hypotenuse, right? Mm -hmm. And knowing that this is, right? Like, you just pretty much apply this guy squared plus one squared gives you, and that's three plus, that's like three plus one, that's squared of four, which is two, right? Mm -hmm. So this two, this is a common triangle, this guy. Yeah. So from, from that, you have two as hypotenuse, one as the other legs. You, you can tell that this angle is gonna be, this angle that they have right here is, is going to be 30 degrees, right? Yeah. And then you just pretty much turn this into radians. If you already know the radians, that's good. You could either say like it's 30 degrees or pi over six. Yeah, so it's six. And that's side six, yeah. So A equals six. Yep. Um, maybe we'll see later on how this can get hard. I could imagine this, maybe like, because like this is a common triangle. Maybe mm -hmm. they'll give you something that, that's not so common. Mm -hmm. Like maybe somewhere right here. And you have to like do something like this. As long as you know, like I, I'm actually, um, I'm also like uh, teaching like pre-calculus. The, the other... The other person that I know is um that how did you how did you guys learn your um your unit circle? Did you have to memorize it or 
Um, we didn't have to memorize it. So you know how to do the, you know, if they give you like this guy, like uh, you know, like um maybe one twenty cent or something like that, then you can just drop down or drop up something like that. And and then you can find this angle, right? Knowing if this is like negative and then it's positive, something like that. Yeah. Okay. As long as you know how to do that and not memorize it. And then I think the other one I know is um if you don't know the the signs, you can say like you can remember like all students take calculus, <laughs> which is like everything here is positive for cosine tan, and then here sine is a positive one. Mm -hmm. And tan is positive. I think that's the one. Cosine is positive, something like that. Just remember those. And I think, yeah, this is the if anything, this is their trig question. All right, last one. the one fourth yeah how did you do that one um because if you make them if you make a and b the same as the bottom equation okay oh uh, like uh oh wait actually never mind that's if it's no and no 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 that's right the, what you did is infinitely many right mm -hmm. so, so like they can you have to make them equal the the right hand side first so yeah. You, you would do this right like yeah them e like that and then equals 60 mm -hmm. and and then like since they're all infinitely many mm -hmm. you can make them equal each other yeah and then after you do that uh you can just tell that you can pretty much equate the the coefficients i think yeah yeah so 5a equals 2 5b so after you do that, a, a equals two fifths. Let me see. What we, oh yeah, that's eight. That's our way. Five B equals eight. And then so B equals um, eight fifths. And then, right? And after you do that, you just do this. So yeah, I, th I think if there's um, no solution, uh, you can't equate them, but then infinite many, then it's, it's not as that tricky. Just as long as you know, um, so for this one, is there another way of doing this? Let's see. Um, since AX plus BY equals 12. Oh, that's pretty much the same. The alternate way of doing it is pretty much the same. I think the the best way is just make them e make something equal. Because um, if you can make them equal each other, you can just solve for it. You, you don't even have to think about this, if, if anything. If you, mm -hmm. make, if you can make this equal, and then just think about this problem as like, oh, it's just to solve for A or B. Kind of like similar to the other problems we've been doing. They mm -hmm. like the kind of problems, like where you solve a system and then you have to conclude something about A and B. So cool. All right. Um, so yeah, try to do this next one for homework. And the and uh, I think yeah, it's obviously harder, but uh if you know how to do these ones, there's some some sometimes actually like I'm looking at some of these problems, you can probably do this by hand. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, if anything, try try to do that. Uh, but as much as like, like, if you need a calculator, do it. But like sometimes that uh, double check your work. If uh, if I have to give like advice for these calculation ones, is um check your work because uh, you know it's easy to just trust the calculator, right? <laughs> but like once um you plug it in, it's like oh okay, and then yeah, but they're not that bad. Okay. I mean, like, uh, so do this one and then let me know for the first one and then this one as well, if there's anything we should cover for like the next couple of weeks from now. Cool. All right. Yeah. Okay. Aaron, thanks, Ben. Thank you.